Oh, sorry to disturb you, sir. I realize this is a bad time. Have a drink. It's a good time to be drinking. Uh, not right now. Thank you, sir. Still on duty. Would it be all right, sir, if I uh, smoked a small cigar? Of course. I love a good cigar myself. There's a humidor over there. Help yourself. Oh, I'm kind of used to these, sir. Thank you. Please yourself. Light up, sit down, make yourself at home. No more home for poor Gabriel, I'm afraid. Oh, that was unfortunate, sir. It's a tragedy, Mr. Colombo. A tragedy. A wonderful young man with a great future. So I heard, sir. He was like a son to me. Let's have some music. <laughs> You'd rather hear some rock and roll? I wouldn't say that, sir. In the cavern, then the canyon, excavating for a mine, lived a miner, a 49er, and his daughter, Clementine. Oh, my darling, oh, my darling, oh, my darling, Clementine. You were lost and gone, gone forever. Dreadful sorry, Clementine. At least we've established part of your taste. But I think it's time for some sad music, more befitting the mood of the evening. A little cello, perhaps. Nothing weeps like a cello. Now, Mr. Crawford. Now, Mr. Crawford, I'm sure you could play wonderful music all night long, but there are a few questions. I realize that this has been a shock to you, but it has to be done. What did you have in mind, Mr. Colombo? Where were you, sir, when the deceased fell off the roof? I was on stage, conducting a concert. Uh, when was the last time that you saw Mr. McHenry alive, sir? That would be last evening, in here, in the bungalow. And what sort of mood was he in? Since I had just informed him he would be conducting the theme from The Killer at tonight's program. Ecstatic? Ecstatic day before. Day before, so... Uh, oh, so he wasn't here when you arrived today? I arrived at the studio a few minutes before performance. I didn't see Gabriel. I just assumed, as it was his normal practice, he'd be on the roof, conducting along with me, and would appear when he was due on stage. So, the first time that you saw him today, he was on the ground. I can imagine how you felt, sir. I was devastated. And what did you do right after that? Some members of the audience had come outside to gop. I told them to go back indoors. I announced that the performance for this evening was cancelled and assured those present that the tickets would be good for next Saturday, when an additional piece would be added to the programme, a piece that I would compose myself as a, tri as a tribute to Gabriel. Oh, very nice gesture, sir. Uh, tell me, uh... Did Mr. Gabriel, when he was conducting, did he always use a baton? Of course. We all use batons. <laughs> Why do you ask? Well... Well, you never know, sir. Somebody said he was a bit eccentric. <laughs> Not that eccentric. However, time I was getting home. Anything else? Uh, I noticed this, uh... Garment rental bag here on the couch. Would that belong That's to... That's Gabriel's. Uh, His tuxedo, I would imagine. He didn't own one. And he changed it to it here? Oh, of course. This was his home away from home. And is there more of it? Oh, yes. There's some ornaments in the closet there. And, of course, his backpack. Uh, mind if I take him, sir? By all means, I would be much obliged. I really don't need any reminders of what might have been. 
Everything of Gabriel's is on the left. Uh-huh. Uh, are these his? Yes, indeed. Uh, well, you've been a great help, sir. Thank you very much. Good night. Good night, Mr. Colombo. Just one more thing.